What's going on, everyone? We are back in Disney Springs tonight. I'm here, too. Taylor's here. She's just playing Pokemon Go. But uh, tonight, we are actually meeting up with uh, some good friends of ours, Nate and Veronica. They're going to show up here later. We're kind of just out here walking around because, of course, Taylor had to play Pokemon Go. Actually, Josh is the one in the one... Little, little, little. Josh wanted to come here early, and I said, okay. Well, I'm going to get a drink from here. Just having some pre-dinner drinks here at Disney Springs. Got a strawberry margarita from Dockside Margaritas. It is very refreshing. So I'm pretty sure that I said earlier this week in a video that we posted sometime this week, because I don't even really remember, was that I was going to do like what I thought was like the most relaxing park or how to relax at a park. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, my whole idea was that I was going to have time after work at some point to come over and do that. Never had it. So I have to say that today is like my only day to actually relax and it's here at Disney Springs. And with that being said, there's actually quite a bit that you can do here to avoid a lot of the heat and just relax and enjoy a lot of what there is here to offer. People watching, entertainment, drinks, in the evening, shopping. All kinds of entertainment. Exactly. All kinds of drinks. And then there's also a lot of food. So. Hi. Oh, thank you so much. Have you guys ever had a good time? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Taylor's actually sitting here playing Pokemon Go. She actually just beat this gym. What I think is really funny is that if you stop while playing Pokemon Go, and I'm not playing Pokemon Go, it's really interesting to like stop and like look around and see who else is playing Pokemon Go and who's trying to take down the gym that Taylor just that Taylor just won. Somebody is. I see it's being battled. So would it be creepy if I just like walked around with the camera and was like, "Are you playing Pokemon Go? Are you playing Pokemon Go?" Yes, I am. So I'm just walking around right now, trying to see who else is playing Pokemon Go. I have noticed a few people that are playing Pokemon Go right now. What are you doing? So I think I discovered the culprits who is trying to take down your gym. Are you over there? It's these two people sitting right here. So I'm sorry that we are super late on this, but we just realized that the other side of World of Disney has finally opened up. So we're going to walk inside and check it out. The new sign has now officially opened and one thing is is that they have this whole section that they just opened up is just for Christmas uh, decorations and clothing and decor everything everything is Christmas over here they've got some new ears and if we uh, continue walking over to the other side that has been open for a long time now they've got an entire wall of only ears and hats which I think is really great they have another side that has like purses and bags They've got some of the uh, jersey sweatshirts. There is still one section not open yet. And there still is a whole nother section that's not open yet. Now, if we make our way over to the other side of where the ears and the hats are at, they actually have nothing but a tea section. And this is set up uh, very similar to uh, a lot of, like how a lot of like new places are doing it, where they have the logo and design up above on a square so that you can easily look at it. And then they have the sizes of the shirts folded on different shelves down below them. So it makes it really easy to find the shirt, uh, find the design that you like, and then find the size that you're looking for as well, which is really, really nice. So in case anybody was wondering, we do still hang out with Nate and Veronica. We're here. We They're here. We're here. <laughs> we're actually doing a uh, little dining tonight with not just Nate and Veronica, but we're doing it with some other people as well. I think that's at Frontera Cocina. This is definitely like news to me because I've been like so busy and out of it these last like this last week and a half. But should be a pretty fun night. But the uh, we're actually going to do a dining review that's going to get posted on Monday and not be a part of this. Wow. You're the man. <laughs> Thank you. That was a classic vlog in a vlog. Did you see that though?
So something to keep in mind when you're here at Disney Springs and trying to relax, have a good time, get the most value out of your money, is that certain places do have a happy hour. Uh, Paddlefish actually does have a happy hour every once in a while. Unfortunately, I don't know exactly when that is. Uh, I would share that with you, but um, obviously Stargazers Lounge has happy hour every single day from four to seven. And then I think they pick it back up from like nine to like midnight or 10 to midnight or 10 to one, something like that. And a lot of the other places do to try and keep people here and keep them coming back and buying drinks. So instead of paying $10 for a draft or $9 for a draft, you can usually pay about five, which I think is very reasonable for Disney prices. Something to definitely keep in mind. But we obviously have not gotten any drinks at Paddlefish because we're leaving and moving on while Taylor and Veronica and now Nate all play Pokemon Go. And it sounds like somebody may have just fallen. Did somebody fall? These two don't know their way around Disney Springs if their life depended on it. Yeah. I just fell down the stairs. My misdirection. I thought so. Gone. So, Nate, tell me what you just tell tell everybody watching what you just told me because I never knew this. If you want a different candy, because they always give out the caramel one, and you can get a different candy, you just got to hand it in up at the desk or the register and they'll just take it and then have you pick a different one. All this time I've been giving away free dark chocolate candy that I could be eating. So they must be refurbishing one of the uh, Lego statues right now. But I love how like the dust and the rubble or the the rubble that's left over is just Legos. Look at that. Pardon our dust. It's just Legos, that's awesome. until dinner at 8.30, but dinner will be a separate video, so no, no, hold my beer. you'll see it coming up soon. I know. But I got the Reggie's Revenge. It was that green, like, bubbling cooler that was in there. And I'm not really sure what's all in it. It's kind of sweet, and it is pretty strong. It's really good, though. All right. So this is the Mayor's Reserve, and this has a Wartford uh, Reserve blend bourbon in it. Um, simple syrup, blackberry brandy, I think. I might be misquoting that, but really this is one of the best drinks I've had at Disney Springs. It's hands down my favorite that I've had. I can't discount the things I haven't had, but uh, even in the to-go, they make a nice little presentation. It's an empty Bud Light <laughs> that I just finished. Very rare. It's... <laughs> Thank you. Hi Des, and I got the, what's it called again, the monkey thing. Monkey, monkey fist. The you monkey cool thing? Monkey. That's it, Mon cool headed monkey. At the hangar bar, because hangar <laughs> bar, <laughs> that's it. And it's very good, it's fruity, if you like fruit. The bar, also known as bad, I got the uh, little monkey also. It is fruity, but if you drink it fast, you'll be looking. <laughs> you gotta take it easy. That's right, but she got water. <laughs> Jesus. That's not what you told me earlier. Cup of vodka, everybody. <laughs> it's going crazy tonight. <laughs> Alright, so I think we're about to walk into dinner here. And dinner is going to be a dining review, so not part of this vlog. Yep. But make sure you come down to Disney Springs and check out the World of Disney because it is all open now, for the most part. There's like two small sections in the back that are closed off, but hopefully they'll yep. be open soon. And then from four to seven-ish, sometimes a little bit longer, depending which bar you go to, is like happy hour almost everywhere in Disney Springs. Yeah. So definitely check that out. Yeah, it actually varies quite a bit. It can be anywhere from like three o'clock to about eight o'clock mm -hmm. at different places. And then they stop it and then they start it again between like yes. 10 and like midnight or something. So 
if you're looking for a place to hang out and try to beat the heat, just relax. It's a great place to do it. Yeah. Great place that people watch. You know. Hanger Bar is a great bar. I know we got our drinks to go so that we could walk over here yeah. to dinner, but we love hanging out at the, the Hanger Bar. There's yeah. like a little outdoor area and there's always like a band or a musician yeah. playing outside. It's a nice awesome. place just to relax, listen to music. So. Yeah. So we're going to go eat dinner with our friends and we'll see you later. Bye.